Hema's consumer brands is a leading manufacturer in Sri Lanka's home and personal care sector and this falls under Hema's Holdings PLC. Recently, they have recognized the need for a good skincare solution to all women in Sri Lanka of all skin types. Not have they just recognized the need for it but also come up with a solution. Vivya, a solution that will give us ladies a youthful radiance which is also made out of one of our very own Sri Lankan ingredients. Now this is Sri Lankan heirloom rice infused world's first skincare brand, Vivya. Today's Pulse Talk is all about Vivya and to talk about this, let me now introduce the very own, the Director of Business Development and Innovation of Hema's Consumer Brands, Sabrina Yusufali. Hello to you, Sabrina. Hi, hi. Thanks so much for having me here. It's my pleasure to have you today as well. So to start the conversation with, why don't we start with the journey of Vivya and how have everybody conceived the brand so far? Yeah, so I mean, there's been great uh, response actually, you know, exceeding our expectations. Uh, but to be honest, I'm not surprised by this. Um, the, the making of Vivya was a, a, was a long and sort of very co-created process uh, where we were, we were sort of very intent on, on, on solving this for a particular demographic uh, of consumer. Uh, and so even in the product development process, uh, we had a very, very involved consumer base that kind of tested uh, early <laughs> prototypes, we iterated based on their feedback, uh, we've even sent it for clinical testing. So, so when it launched, you know, I, I was almost sure that people would like it. I mean, I've been using it for a year, so I mean, that, that's the litmus test. Okay. Um, uh, and then, um, uh, but it's been great to see, you know, how people feel really energetic by this brand and, and what it's trying to do and, and that gives me you know a lot of uh, enthusiasm about its future. I mean I'm, I'm impressed when you said you have used the brand on your own and seen results of it. Now let's talk about the speciality of this being you know have been used the ingredient of heirloom rice. What's so unique and what's so important about this ingredient? So I mean so let me go take a step back and uh, kind of talk about why you know why we even thought of solving uh, this yes. problem. So, um, when we looked at the skincare market, uh, there, were, there were two things that really struck us as being a little odd. Uh, the first thing was, um, uh, if you looked at the market, an overwhelming number of um, uh, skincare propositions, or at least over 90% of the skincare propositions we saw in the market, uh, dealt exclusively with skin lightening. Um, this is very odd when you compare it uh, with, with some of the other product portfolios uh, we see uh, in the region. Uh, and, and we realized when talking to our consumers that, you know, 20 something, 28 something year old women are actually very ready to invest in a skin regime. Um, you know, they wanted youthful, healthy skin, uh, but the market just didn't have any, you know, product or propositions for them, right? So, so they wanted something beyond lightning um, and, and the market you know, didn't have anything for them. And, and the second problem uh, that we saw uh, that was unaddressed by the market was that you had to pick uh, between natural uh, and science. Um, we, we don't believe that this choice has to be made uh, because you, you certainly, you know, now there's increasingly more technology to actually increase the performance of naturals. So, um, so we were keen to actually think about cracking, uh, um, to, 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 to not making natural versus science, but natural and science, yeah. Uh, and this is, you know, this is the gap uh, that Vivia really solved for. Um, and then, uh, uh, and obviously we were keen, you know, uh, we were very passionate about, you know, bringing high performance naturals to life. Uh, and we were kind of looking, the team was looking for ingredients that we thought uh, would really not just be slapped on a pack, uh, but ingredients that were able to deliver sort of visible skin benefits because it's your face, right? You want other people to notice. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, uh, so, so what we did is we, we realized that if you look at Southeast Asian markets, a lot of those sort of markets have been, or beauty in those markets have really been unlocked uh, on the back of their indigenous rice. Uh, and then we started asking these questions around, look, South Asia has the same cultural attachment uh, to rice. Uh, as there is in, in Southeast Asian markets, but no real brand had leveraged uh, this sort of hero potent ingredient to deliver strong uh, beauty benefits. Um, and then, I mean, so, so at that time we thought we were just making a skincare brand with rice. 
uh, and then we, we kind of spoke to a lot of people, spoke to a couple of farmers, uh, and then we were just amazed uh, by what we found. Um, we found out that, you know, Sri Lanka was known uh, as the granary of the East, um, way back when. Yeah. Um, and that was not because of the quantity of rice uh, that we supplied the world, but because of the quality of rice. We, we have over 3,000 uh, indigenous varieties uh, of rice uh, in the country. This, is, this was news uh, to me. And there were all these like really lovely stories about Sigiriya damsels uh, using Soander, which, one, which is one of, you know, one of the blend of rice that's in Vivia, uh, to, to really enhance their, their complexion. Uh, and this is something that, that really took us by surprise and we realized, hey, we're not just making a product um, with rice, uh, as, as you know, the rice that we eat, but we're actually making a product with these sort of ancient grains or, or alum rice. Uh, because, you know, the, the, their profile is that they are better, better to eat, uh, so they are much more sort of nourishing, they have a much uh, higher potency in terms of the benefits they deliver to eat. So we thought, you know, that they obviously deliver stronger benefits on your skin. Um, so, so it's not just about, you know, and then we asked ourselves, look, it's not just about the ingredient, right? Like, you know, ingredients, uh, you know, today they'll be great, tomorrow they'll be, you know, par for the course. Uh, but what the teams, the R&D teams did is they actually went back uh, and they, they extracted, and they actually formed a unique blend of three types of rice, so and they'll uh, sort of be one of them. Uh, and they made this extract that, that's actually unique to us and they fortified it. Um, and so, so, so now, uh, if, if you, you know, think back to my story about yeah. nature versus science, now we're getting to the science component yeah. of it, right? Um, so, so they were able to kind of formulate this product uh, that was, uh, and, and we sent it out. We were very keen to send it out to labs, you know, test it with over 500 consumers, just just to make sure that we were on the right track in terms of actually being able to deliver benefits, right? Um, and uh, we we kind of we we were. So happy to note that you know th this product was clinically tested to be effective to actually deliver visible sort of skin benefits on in terms of tone, texture, plumpness, dewiness, all those sort of great things you want about your skin um, in 14 days. So, That's so amazing. yeah, so we had nature, which is sort of this strong first in the world ingredient, um, but but we also managed to make it into a product that that works. Yeah. yeah. From divine discovery and fields of rice comes a secret that transcends time that extracts the goodness of Sri Lankan heirloom rice to create the golden trice, which helps skin visibly renew over time and from deep within. Wake up to youthful radiance with Vivia. Now, I'm sure out to the public, when you say rice is an ingredient, I'm sure it's available in the market under so many products. But this heirloom rice, what, like if you can just summarize a little bit on what exactly it gives out as benefits. Yeah, so so this rice has a low GI, uh, it's more fibrous, it has, uh, rice has a, has a really unique active called ferulic acid. Um, and, and that uh, sort of not to get too fancy here, but but over time, what, what that does is it actually illuminates uh, your skin, right? So it has it has natural exfoliating properties that reveals your skin's sort of inner brightness uh, and glow. And because, as I said, you know, alum rice uh, is a much more nutritious. Uh, and a form of rice, its ability to nourish your skin uh, is uh, much greater than your average uh, sort of rice that you would eat uh, on a daily basis, yeah. That's amazing. I mean, us ladies, let's make note of it. <laughs> Along with that, uh, Sabrina, I would like to know the consumers you all are trying to tap, trap, like, tap into and the customers are trying to attract. Yeah. What is the demography? So, so as I said, you know, the problem that we started off with wanting to solve for is the sort of, you know, 26 something woman that that's not, you know, that they're starting to realize that her physiology is changing. Uh, and we realized that these women are actually invested. Uh, in in coming up with a with a skincare routine um, that over time uh, um, uh, you know you can see results right so so they were willing to to kind of supplement their regular face wash with say a face cream a, a cleanser a serum which is why we thought you know giving the ritual or giving the range uh, was very important because these women realized that good things take time 
uh, you know maybe and in you your have teams, already realized yeah, yeah, that it takes yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you have to use a product over time to understand uh, exactly exactly and you know in your teens you're willing you're much more you know you're experimenting um, you, you know, want quick results with yeah, teens yeah. <laughs> and bad decisions <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, but over time you know you're ready to follow a much more um, longer term uh, sustainable routine and and that's what we very uh, okay. aims to do yeah that's amazing. Now, along with that, this Vivya was launched recently. How has the response been so far? The response has been great. Um, uh, so we, you know, we've launched about a week ago. So still too early to tell, you know, just how much we've, uh, you know, shaken up the market. Uh, but for us, you know, it's very important that the people that try it uh, would say that they would buy it again. Um, and and you know a lot of this response has been in that direction, which is which is great. And as I said, you know we're, we're very confident uh, about the fact that this product is uh, safe uh, and actually works. Um, so I'm you know completely proud of uh, and okay to recommend it to my friends. And I think that's a good test of. Uh, whether this, you know, if, if, if I'm recommending this product and I'm using this product um, and I'm selling this product, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm much more convinced by the, by the fact that it will succeed. I guess yeah. I'm also looking forward to use this product. <laughs> now, along with that, now I said that there are so many skincare products out in the market and sometimes te from being a teenager to until you grow up, you get confused with a lot of products being in the market. Now, how does this product particularly stands out? for a skincare routine, yeah. Sabrina. So, so I'm not going to talk about the ingredient and sort of the science and nature. I'm, I'm sort of, you know, going to talk about why I feel that this, um, you know, Vivia's entry to the market is significant, right? right. Um, you know, I personally realized that a lot of the products I had been using uh, and, and the products that you see in the market yeah. uh, are really made for Caucasian women uh, or women with much lighter skin much tones than us. Um, uh, and I realized, you know, after uh, actually talking with my team, uh, that South Asian skin um, is very different ph physiologically um, and it requires a custom made solution. Uh, but because, you know, the beauty industry is such that it, generally it's, it's developed with a Caucasian woman uh, in mind, it doesn't actually solve for women of color. Uh, uh, and South Asian skin, you know, not just women of color, but, but, but particularly for South Asian skin. Um, and that's, that's what I want Vivya to really stand for, right? We, we will solve for the South Asian woman. We will customize uh, our solutions for the South Asian woman. Uh, and we will celebrate, you know, her uniqueness, right? It's not a one size fits all, right? Skin tone is different and, and your needs are different. Uh, so that's that's what I feel, you know, Vivia's true differentiation is going to be. I think the trust is what's important when it comes to building a brand where people, especially a skincare brand, because at, at the end of the day, it's our skin. <laughs> so here's a product that we all should try. Along with that, what is your vision behind this brand, Sabrina? Yeah, so, so building on my, my previous point, you know, um, something that's very passionate to me and something that you know really has been embedded in the Hema's ethos um, is, is the job that we will do to create a more uh, inclusive uh, world uh, and, and beauty is, is sort of um, something that you know there are parts of it that are very dissonant to me uh, because you know there, there are parts of the beauty industry or actually you know up until a few years ago, a large portion of the beauty industry uh, actually rejected this concept of inclusivity, right? And I think more people really need to champion that um, that that uh, you don't have to be fair uh, to be lovely. Um, and I think you know th this idea that uh, uh, you know beauty and, and natural radiance should be celebrated, regardless of your the color of your skin, regardless of where you live, uh, regardless of your age. Um, so we're here to really make beauty accessible uh, and, and, and to make people celebrate their beauty. Mm, that's amazing. That's a great reason to have for a brand. Now, I would also like to ask, this is a Sri Lankan heirloom rice infused world's first skincare brand. How important it is to you to take Sri Lanka and this particular Sri Lankan brand to international level? Yeah, um, so that's that's a part of this whole journey that has make, made me very proud. Um, not just that we have a product that works, but we were, were able to do it um, with an ingredient that elevates and celebrates uh, Sri Lanka's unique culture. Uh, I think Sri Lanka has such sort of deep richness uh, to offer the world. 
uh, and unfortunately, you know, we're so surrounded by negativity uh, around the stories that come out of Sri Lanka that, that we often forget that there is, a, there is a rich history that I think needs to be unearthed uh, and celebrated. And this is something that this brand uh, will aim to do. It will export uh, the best uh, of Sri Lanka um, and really, you know, and do it through an internationally competitive uh, product. Uh, so yeah. That's amazing. Now, Hema's consumer brand is known to keep ad adding value to the consumers out there. Now, this is one such product. What's next? So, so Hema's a secret sauce. Um, uh, I'm not going to tell you all of it, but I'll tell you some of it. Uh, uh, has always been, um, you know, staying extremely close uh, to the, the consumers that we solve for. It's, you know, it's our ability to really mine and unearth local insight uh, and to translate that into internationally competitive propositions uh, right and this is something that that you will continue to see uh, from our brands um, and you know this is a company that's that's being built to last right we're not running a short-term race here uh, so so you know by and i think you know building a company that's built to last uh, you also have to think long and hard uh, about how you are improving the lives of your stakeholders over time. So that, that's not just your shareholders, uh, but also your, the communities that you serve, your employees. Um, uh, so, you know, what, what you will see from Hema's consumer brands um, is really, is really uh, uh, an increasing or a continued commitment um, uh, to, to change the lives of our consumers with our brands. Um, uh, we're not just selling product, uh, we're, we're offering people uh, a chance to better their lives. Mm. That's exactly why I mentioned it adds value. It keeps adding value to the consumers out there and to the public, so that's amazing. Now, I'm sure the public out there would also love to know a little bit about you. Now, when we say Sabrina Yusuf Ali, the Director of um, Business Development and Innovation of Hema's Consumer Brands, what is your exact role within the company? Um, yeah, so, so, you know, I'm the next generation uh, um, to come into the business. Um, so, so my role is also defined by, you know, what, what I'd like to do uh, with that responsibility. Um, you know, some, an ethos that my great-grandfather really instilled to the, into the business that continues to kind of shape how it operates uh, is this commitment to service. Um, and, you know, I see my role as really carrying on that torch. Uh, and, and, you know, over time, making this business uh, uh, better able um, to create a more fair uh, and inclusive world. Uh, and um, so, so I, you know, I believe I, I actually used to be uh, working in public policy. Um, and, and so, you know, I've actually throughout my life been working in, in, in industries of service. Uh, and uh, I, I love consumer brands because, you know, you truly get to be at the beating heart of uh, what consumers want. Uh, and I believe, uh, contrary to public opinion, uh, that, the, that the private sector, if it has the right um, uh, sort of uh, ethics in place, can actually be a force, force for good. Uh, right. So, 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 and I and I believe that Hema's is really well positioned uh, to increase uh, its ability to be a, a, a force for good, um, and actually to to um, Hema's is always focused on on solving the world's problems and, and and not creating them. And I think I will continue to build on that legacy. And so, uh, you know, what we're trying to do at um, Hema's Business Development and Innovation is to really identify those problems, uh, those consumer problems that that, uh, that that consumers want us to solve, but the market just isn't solving for. And we'll do it in a way that kind of over time increases the, the sort of the inclusive world um, that, that sort of I would like us to. I think this is how we see Sabrina Yusuf Ali carrying the legacy and the brand image out there and continues to do well in the business and in life as well. So um, I hope you will continue to give us more of like add more value through a lot more products that are yet to come to the market. Um, coming into the Vivya product, I'm sure everybody would like to know from where they can actually purchase it. Would you like to give a message? Yeah, yeah. sure. You, you can purchase it um, at all major supermarkets uh, around the country um, uh, and also online uh, through either the Hema's Easto or uh, Dara's. Thank you so much Sabrina for joining with Pulse Talk today and sharing your thoughts and even taking this brand out there through us. Um, thank you for joining. It was my You're pleasure welcome. interviewing you today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, like I mentioned at the start, today's Pulse Talk was all about Vivya. Sri Lanka's heirloom rice infused world's first skincare brand.
inspired by nature, mastered by science and elevated by culture. To tell you a little bit about Vivya, it showcases a comprehensive skincare product range including day cream, facial serum, face wash, night cream and cleanser infused with a highly moisturizing and nourishing properties of heirloom rice combined with a unique extraction technology in the manufacturing process. Vivya is currently available at the Hemas e-store, Daraz.lk, general and modern trade retailers. With that, we shall see you soon with another episode of Pulse Talk. See you then.